Hello everyone, uh, in today's video we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the Reading T7 turret and the Lyman All-American 8. Now the Reading has been on the market for many many years and has a very good reputation, a deserved reputation, it is a very good press. The Lyman has only been on the market a very short time um, and if you look at the Lyman it's very very similar in the total concept to the Reading. So is the Lyman as good as the Reading? We're going to find out. So first off let's have a look at the price. So uh, in today's prices as I do this video the Reading sells for roughly the average price of 300 US dollars in America. Um, where I am in Australia it is 630 dollars. The Lyman in the US average price is 200 dollars. Uh, where I am in Australia, its cheapest price is 415. So, as it stands, out of the as it comes from the factory, the Lyman uh, is two thirds the price of the Reading. Um, the Lyman comes with this primer, automatic primer feed system in the box. The Reading, that's an optional part, uh, and that's sixty dollars in the US or. $100 in Australia. So, on average, you know, if the Lyman is as good or very close to the to the Reading, it is going to be a really good value. So, what are the uh, obvious differences? Now, when you look at it, there's, there's some that stand out straight away. Firstly, the Lyman has eight stations, the Reading has seven. Uh, the, the handle on the Lyman is ambidextrous, so you have a left and a right hand side if you wish, whereas the Reading, you right hand only. Uh, obviously, as I said before, the Lyman comes with the automatic primer feed in the box. With the Reading, it's you get a single primer uh, feed here and an optional extra to buy the automatic. Um, the turret handle up here, the Reading has three positions, three holes for the turret handle, so you can move it anywhere. They're not quite 120 degrees, but they're very close. Uh, the Lyman only has two holes, 180 degrees of height. There you go. So, uh, construction wise, both are very solid cast iron construction. Both weigh really much the same 28 pounds uh, shipping weight is listed for both. I didn't weigh them myself, but they're very close. Um, the Reading is solid. That's very solid. The central beam pillar here is what an I beam construction, I guess you could call it. Um, it's yeah, an engineering that's pretty good. Um, the Lyman central, the pillar here is a hollow square tube, but very thick, probably a half inch thick cast iron at least. Um, both of them, they have a the turret is mounted with a very large central through bolt. Uh, on the case of the Reading, it uses an Allen key to undo the bolt, and the Lyman uses a three-quarter inch hex head or spanner, so you can get more leverage on that one if you need to. Um, they both have a bushing inside here, which keeps them yeah, spinning freely and, and level. In terms of the actual turret bearing surface underneath here, to stop you know, the turret from to rocking either way, uh, the Lyman so it's actually 2.7 inches by 2, and the reading is 2.3. So the line is a little bit more, but not much. Um, and both of them have the rocking plate at the back, or the anti-rock at the back, to stop the turret from twisting back when the round goes up. Which is The ram on both presses is 1 inch diameter. The reading at this point here, has 3.3 inches of actual support around the rim to provide that guide, guidance and support. The, red, the line is a little bit smaller, it is 2.6 inches. Let's see, um, let's have a look at some of the ergonomics. So, the handle on the reading itself is 13 inches long compared to 15 inches for the line. Um, the reading handle is basically what it's fully vertical straight up. It swings 120 degree arc and 
at the bottom of the strobe, it is 12 inches below the bench top level. Well, that's probably not, doesn't mean much to many people, but um, to some of the ergonomics, it makes a huge difference. Um, well, the lineman handle itself is canted 10 degrees to either side, depending on whether you're right or left hand. Uh, at the bottom of the downstroke, it is raked 20 degrees to the rear. It actually sw it swings a lot further uh, through a 135 degree arc and it ends up 10 inches below the bench top at the bottom of its travel. So the ram travel clearance uh, between shell holder and the, well, the, yeah, the ram travel is uh, 3.4 inches on the reading and the lineman actually has a lot longer stroke at 4 inches. Um, in my gut feeling, seat of the pants, you know, after using both presses for a little while, I think the lineman, it feels more direct. It's definitely loose, or a looser feel, like a lot less effort required to use it, but there's not much in it at all. Um, neither press is sloppy. Very, very good feel of presses. Um, now neither of these presses has a cam over. They both come to a stop before they, um, you know, they cam over, which is, in my opinion, a good thing. Um, the reading is stopped by a couple of roll, well, huge roll pins here. Um, whereas the, red, the line itself, it has angled surfaces in the linkages here, which provide a solid stop at the yeah, at the end of the travel. And my, you know, I think the line itself feels better in this regard. The reading can feel a bit spongy because you can actually you know, compress or move those roll pins a little bit. But, but no, I don't think it's a big issue because you're going to top out at the die most times anyway. Alright, so on to primer handling. The reading has a, a primer catch that goes, the primers go through the ram here and they exit at the bottom of the ram into a PVC tube at the bottom of the ram. Now you do have to be aware that if you're mounting this press on a bench that has an apron, because of the, the direction of this, this uh, the catch tube, that you limit to an apron of three inches from the top of the bench uh, to make clearance for that tube. The alignment itself, it has a primer catch tray in the front. Uh, it holds about 250 primers and it works well. Now, both of these presses suffer the same affliction that seems to affect just about every press I've ever had, is that because they've made a slot in the RAM for the primer system, that occasionally primers seem to pop out with that slot and go on the floor and everywhere. Um, I get around that, I use a large plastic drinking straw and uh, cut it to the length, slide it down, and it prevents the primers from falling out. And once you've done that, both of these systems never drop a primer, so they're quite good. Um, right, so as I've stated before, the reading comes with this single primer cup out of the box. It's, uh, it works well. As the ram goes up, it rotates, it faces you, you load your primer, you lower the ram, and you prime the case. It works well, you know, but you've got to pick up the primer each time you load it. But it works really well, and it, you know, I've never had any issues with it. Um, the liner itself, it comes with this automatic primer feed. So, uh, the reading has an automatic primer feed, which is an optional extra. So I'll tell you my experience with both, having used both. Um, the reading in it holds 100 primers in the primer tubes. The lineman only holds 50. The reading in it itself feels a lot more sturdy constructed, and better constructed than the one that comes with the lineman. Um, but and the tubes are definitely a lot more. Uh, thick, they're aluminium and they're thicker and they're stronger and they, they work better. Uh, the lineman has brass tubes and they're a bit flimsy. Yeah. So in actual use, um, what I can say is that they both suffer from a problem where they, they rely on the weight in the tube to feed the primers into the catch mechanism, into the, the primer cup as you try and load it. So when they're full they work okay, as they start to get empty they start to get less reliable. The primers on the reading, the primers will go in upside down or they won't drop at all. Um, 
and on the linemen, they usually just don't come out at all. Or um, and so I've developed you know, a little trick. Basically, what I do is I place a drill bit just the right size to go on top of the tube. Place it on top of the primers. Don't drop it down. Whatever you do, just place it down when the and it will provide enough weight that will uh, fix the feeding issues. Um, so once you've done that, the reading unit works well, no problems. Uh, now the lineman, I had all sorts of problems. First one was that the tubes themselves were full of burrs and didn't want to work. The primer cup itself just, you know, it was a real bugbear to get it to load. Um, so I got a, a 22 caliber cleaning brush, rubbed it up and down and cleaned it. Um, with drill bit weight trick, it, it really helps. The other thing I, I've done on both is just use my uh, case neck deburrer on the cups just to give them a bit of a chamfer so the primers will fall in easily. Um, now, the issue I had with the lineman is when you actually go to uh, feed the primer into the base of the case, the cartridge, um, it was very it was difficult. They were getting primers which were going in sideways, they were catching and getting crushed. You know, it wasn't very good, it wasn't safe, it wasn't good. But what I discovered is that I was using Redding shell holders and the shell hold, the hole in the center of the Redding shell holders is a lot larger than a Lion or a Lee shell holder. And so what was happening was the primer cup itself wasn't centralized in the shell holder so the primers weren't getting inserted squarely. Once they are changed over to a lineman shell holder, that problem has gone. Touch wood. Right, so on to actual is there any annoyances regarding this press. Now the reading I have the quality control, perfect, excellent, no problems at all, working well. Um, quality control on the lineman. But I got it out of the box. The ram was in backwards, so I've had to dismantle, press, rotate the ram, and reassemble it. Now it's no big deal because the ram, the pins here are just held in with e clips. You clip them out with a screwdriver, and the pins slide in and out, you no know, problem. Um, I actually used the opportunity to grease up those pins so that it give me a bit more longer life. But, uh, as I said, the lime and primer feed quality on that is terrible. I actually, I've only put it back on for this video. I took it off and it's right in the bin, otherwise I don't really want to use it. I prefer to use the off press or a, this Lee ram pump system on my other press. Yeah. Um, if I need to. Um, and I also found that it's in the way, so when you're trying to work both of them with the, the ordinary primary, if you're trying to place cases, it's, it's, it's in the way. So I don't like them for that reason. Um, and it's hard to get the shell holder in there with this tube in the way. Um, the other one annoyance I had with the lineman is that when you're using any other shell holder apart from lineman, the shell holders actually spin. Can, they just a little bit of slop and they spin around freely. So when you get a load of cases, they're never exactly where they were the last time. So the cases are always hard to get in, hard to get out. And then with the lineman holders, they're actually a nice snug fit. They don't rotate unless you rotate them and they work well. Um, the only other bugbear is with both is that these uh, handles themselves sometimes they come off or they, they work loose as you're working with the handle. Um, but, yeah, yes, you can put a bit of tape there or a little bit of glue or anything can fix that problem, not, not a huge issue. So anyway, I hope that's enough for you if you're comparing these two presses that you can uh, decide which one's for you. Personally, I'm actually enjoying the lineman. Like I said, I think it has a bit more uh, direct feel, it has a longer throw. Um, I don't know what, I'm not a mathematician, so I don't know how that works, any leverage. But um, yeah, I think it's, it's in this case for me, it's working well. When I bought the Reading, I thought seven stations would be enough for anyone, and I filled them, and I was always unscrewing dice to put more in. So I thought having the additional one in the lineman is, for me so is great, and I did use it. So thanks for watching. And, uh, Catch you next time.